hello friends my name is Pravin and in this video we will see how we can define job description in uh, the HRMS system so let's go to uh, JD part and uh, as you can see we have to go to the sub menu JD and JS so as you can see there are no records as of now so let us add new record so we have uh, as you can see we have a list of designations here I say the designation is production manager and we have to set the applicable uh, date or maybe the effective date because the job description uh, specifies the job responsibilities and authorities so authorities and responsibilities may uh, change according to the uh, decision of management or according to the time or maybe the change management of the organization so uh, based on the effective date the job uh, job description will reflect in employees profile according to the designation so we have to select the effective date from which date this uh, gd will be effective so let me uh, just add a few authorities uh, say the power of same way we can have the responsibilities so we can say that uh, of you know 10 20 responsibilities as per the uh, designation and the hr policies so it's a example of gd uh, and the current status is active and i just say submit so this way i can um, add the job description if suppose you want to remove this just select it and you can remove from here you if suppose you have a list of jds and you want to export in, it into excel then you can just export or if suppose you want to update anything you can just select the jd and uh, you can update it now uh, for, for uh, some employees for some employees you want to have a specific uh, responsibilities and authorities right so instead of the standard designation wise jd there are employees whose uh, you know whose uh, uh, responsibilities are uh, some specific or maybe they have some extra authorities so in, in those case uh, what you can do is you can uh, assign the specific jd through this form let me uh, select an employee whose uh, designation is production manager a uh, production manager i hope uh, this employee is having the same designation the designation is manager it let me select first the employee whose designation is production manager say the production manager manager production employee emp0011 so what i'll do is i'll just add this employee we have to select the employee from the list as you can see that the standard JD is there so there is no need to define the standard JD again here what we just need to do is we just need to do the uh, extra or additional authority and uh, responsibility here so I am just saying that the authority Quality. 
so this way you can add uh, specific uh, responsibilities and authorities uh, employee wise you can give any description here. so I said this description and again you can give the effective date as a it is affected from the date or will be it will affect from the date of first February and uh, you know there is one special flag and and the flag is personal affecting product quality that means uh, the designation or the job description of this uh, employee is affecting to the uh, quality of the product if it is you just have to uh, mark it true because uh, this kind of uh, you know this kind of parameters are helping uh, in the reporting part so you know you can generate a set of reports where you can see that how many people whose uh, job descriptions are you know such as those are affecting to the product quality so you can uh, give them a uh, special training or you can treat in a separate way right so uh, again uh, in uh, iso standard this kind of things are uh, necessary to submit as a record so this way we have uh, this plate here right? so this is the way how we can uh, define the standard or a specific JD. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching this video.